Hello everybody, this is Sanuchi Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Enderall episode 7. Also, was that, what, what was that behind me? Anyways, I wanted to start something different rather than the same, just staying in the same place, saying the usual intro, so this time around I actually wanted to get started on the adventure before. Last time we learned more about Euro's past, the tragedy that kind of befell him before he eventually blew himself up. And then we cleared out a bandit camp, so yeah. That's it. Different last episode. So now we pretty much are journeying and we got an abandoned house over there and a wolf that wants to eat me, but unfortunately I do not want to kill it at the moment. Oh crap, I keep forgetting it's right click. I am so used to sometimes just... Like, the one thing I really liked about Skyrim for uh, PC, and I know this isn't Skyrim, but it gets into the main point, was like, whenever you did the click, whenever you did the certain clicks, it's like, whenever you did uh. The left click, you, it corresponds to the left button, it didn't correspond to the right. And it did the same thing with the other one. But here it's like really weird sometimes. I know I can just change it now, but it'll be feeling weird. And why is there so many wolves just want me dead right now? You know, fine, I'll get my own wolf that wants everything else dead. But either way, an abandoned farmhouse. There's probably some bandits here. Oh shoot, a rat! I wonder if you have anything. Rat skin. Oh cool. Here you are. You need three things in Enderall to craft items. A blueprint, ingredients, and a workstation such as a blacksmith's forge. Craft items are usually stronger as normal ones and some especially rare artifacts can only be crafted rather than found oh that's cool wait a second this is a crafting area a small back oh oh they're all coming together now wait a second the butcher of arc do i already have the yeah i have the first one i'll take two of them heavy leather gauntlets Penny coins, more pennies. Found a novice chest, which would definitely be useful. I wonder what crafting stations here. And also, there's a lot of penny coins that could be used, and also, I. Yeah. Oh my! Did they burn down the house while Kid was here? Um. Oh my god. Rest in peace to you. It's a tragedy. Shriveled partially. I don't know what's going on. Everybody's so strange. The animals are evil. They. Oh! So I think the house might have been burnt. Well, it doesn't look burnt down, but still, it's still a tragedy. Wait, why am I picking up leather armor and stuff like that? Uh, I have heavy leather gauntlets. Yeah, they're not even worth that much. Like, that's the thing. Whenever I play an RPG, it's like... There's no point in picking up something. Unless it's either plot important. I can use it right away. No, I can use it now or some later on. Or it's craftable. Now, those rules are adjusted each time, but still. The tanning graph is used to turn animal hide and leather. Alright, I already know this. Alright, so I can make magic imbued robes through old linen and five leather scraps. And of course, I left all my leather scraps in there, but at least I can craft a backpack. So I'm glad to know that's important. I'm gonna... Use 
the wolf pounce to weakness and then bam. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more wolf <clears throat> some more stuff later on, but happy that I got a backpack now. Now my inventory's starting to get a bit filled. There it is. Does this appear? Oh, it does appear on my character. That's cool. Alright, anyways, there's just two wolves chilling there. Now, can you take the mage approach or the bow mage approach? Ah, screw it. I already got the sword out. Effective. Wolf pound. Uh, is there? Let me see. Uh, nope. That's all I need. So I assume that there's gonna be a few more. I can't pick that. It looks cool. <gasps> a fox. These lead to good things. So, all right. I'm assuming this is the good thing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's. So it's pretty much. I don't know if I told you guys. Yeah, but pretty much foxes are my favorite animal. I make sure to not kill them at all. In the game. <clears throat> Unless the game explicitly forces me to do the use of an aggressive fox. What? What's down here? Maxi. Hey, don't worry. I'm just here to. Whatever those things are called. The undead creeps. Yeah, they're right. No, 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 not the undead. Oh no, those aren't. Those aren't undead creeps. Hey. Oh, holy smokes! You, yeah, I ain't getting killed by a bandit. How about... Well, maybe if it didn't attack me, then everything would be fine. <sighs> I really want to make some terrible puns. This area seems vaguely familiar to me. Vaguely. There you are. Now you are right over. You were right over here. Yeah. Good one. Hmm. Boon and block. And an ice claw, which is always great to find. Spoiled cheese. This five damage of poison. Do I want this? Not really. Right, so I better check. There are four corpses. I think I. Ch yeah, check two of them. No, no. I, I'm pretty sure. I, you know. I, 
I'm just gonna say I checked all four and then move on. Let's see, where was I going? Alright, so I went over here to the circle of the lost ones. I talked. Yeah. I found the. No, outlaw camp, so I started from here, went up here, found the old farmhouse. And over here. So the only thing I haven't gone through yet is this creepy mine with a pumpkin nearby. Now. Ooh, and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, I, you know, I think I just realized um, this is the part where it's like officially just a blind playthrough because I remember going to this area and passing by right around this area. <clears throat> so that means that crazy old wizard that lives in a cave and that killed me like during my very first playthrough is here. That's cool. Uh, magic detachment, iron sword. It's weird, like how it has three different skeletons. Oh, like it has three different skeletons there. So, anyways, let's check out the grove. Sorry if you hear any weird noise. Alright, I'm in the beginner area. I should be somewhat safe. But either way. Why are these glowing anyways? Visual air? Uh, what was it? Was it Mage Light, I think? What are you? Don't kill me. So that's good. I know you will. Fence robes, uh, a horseshoe. I, okay, I need to stop checking the empty sacks. A pickaxe will definitely be useful in here. Played a good amount of Dark Souls recently, so it's like I'm kind of worried whenever I go down the shady. T if I don't go down the shady corners. Like, it makes me think, if I don't go down here, I'm going to get jumped. Hmm. You know what? I, I'm just going to go the other way. Because I have a good feeling. A very good feeling. Now, if I go down there, I'm probably going to get... There's probably something pretty strong down there. So I want to fight the rest of the lackeys first. And it, oh man, I, I really don't like doing it. Because I can't even see without this. I can roast you. Oh, wait a second. I was supposed to get the vantage point from up here. Oh, nice catch. Very nice. This is go this actually is going pretty good though. All right, you got the Enderall penny coins, the mana potion, potion of frost, water breathing, and also my stopwatch hasn't been playing this entire time despite me clicking it. So I don't know when the recording is going to stop. All right, so hmm. Dang. that sucks. But 
<laughs> Ooh, no, I got two new items, but anyways, pass it real quick. Grasp of the Ratch Catcher and Dagger of the Spear. Uh, what's, I have the Swashbuckler set. I already have that part. Penny coin. Man, I do not like how dark it is. I also do not like... Oh, it's just a troll. You know, I don't even feel like... I don't even feel like using the sword this time. I just feel like just blasting the troll. That's it. I wonder what this place was. Place for somebody to make a bunch of alcohol, maybe? Safe ground. Somebody. And another frickin' troll. No. Oh, nice, I leveled up. <clears> hmm. <throat> gonna go mana all the way. Just in case, I'm gonna summon my dog. There we go, little buddy. Let's see what I can find. Just grab them out. I left you poor boys from the mine a little strengthening in case that night again. That the night agains are harsh and long. Portion it good. Alright. Let's see. Flower. The diary of a miner. All right, 112 on the fundament, 800 and, no, 8,135 of ST1. Countess Dara, Bell Golden Ford, decided to bring this old mine back to life as it was supposed to contain some rare mineral she needed for the un for unknown reasons. I was recruited together with four other miners who worked with me in some mines in the heartland and the farm at the farmer's coast a few years ago. Surprisingly, for the countless countess, this seems to be enough of qualification to run a mine for its own. But I'm confident we can do it. Today we arrived here in the shimmering mine, unpacked our carts, and explored the caverns. As expected from a place that has been banned for a few decades, everything's quite run down. A lot of woodwork is rotten and mostly old equipment missing or broken. However, the rock itself seems to be solid as so there's no magic collapses of the ceiling. A good start for further mining activities. I don't quite know where the mining got where the mine got its name from, as the only thing shimmering in here are some unusual shimmering mushrooms. Maybe there have been more of them in the past. Tomorrow we can visit the castle up on the cliff and we'll talk to the countess as we still need some further information requiring the minute. Um minerals. I don't know why I'm not saying it. How long is A blue orb. Hmm. The ore is cursed. Those are important trading posts that even rival the harbor of Ark, especially regarding the trade with Nairam. This, however, was a problem for the merchants in Ark, who then posed more and more restrictions on trade here at the Golden Ford, while legal tra trading declined and consequentially illegal trade smuggling increased, making the entire Sun Coast the main place for smuggling Menderal. Then about 200 years ago, during the reign of Count Theodore, Theodore, Theodore <coughs> there must have been some sort of magical incident involving the Sun Jiren. Supposedly created that the spirit that is now called the Ash Widow by some. 
Therefore, Jiren remained well chosen due to the important circumstances that no other successors to the throne exist. Many nobles in Andrew and beyond became interested. <sighs> hmm. The ash will. Or about. So she is obsessed with it. Alright. You know what? I don't mind making this a longer episode. Just to find out this mystery. I don't know how long I'm going to be recording this for. But. You know it's important. So anyways, uh, let's see how far I am. Alright, so. I'll meet you guys up ahead. I'm going to cut over to the part. I'll cut over it to when I find anything interesting or go back to an area that we come really bit into. So there is. See ya ahead. Are you the one that stayed behind? Let's see. Did I explore this whole place? Apparently, there's another entrance of the Sun Coast there, so I might as well head over there now. Can do an air cut. And let's see what I can find. Alright. Well, I managed to make it to the exit of this place. Found some mud morsels and a chest that may have. Nope, just a bunch of penny coins. Right, let's see where it leads us. You can cure disease at priests in temples and chapels. Will it be free though? Because some games, they want to charge you money. Our games, it's free. Looking at particular uh, Morrowind and Skyrim, pretty much. Well, dust beetles are mainly found in the pow powder desert. They also live in old. Oh, I can go desert and stuff. That's cool. And what the heck is that thing? Is that... Is that a giant crocodile? <laughs> Why did I go through there? I was just trying to pick the mud morsels. Dang it. Oh, the East Coast are filled with tropical beaches, rich in fish. Just, what the hell is that thing? I don't know if you're friendly or not, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I said I was gonna end the episode, but I don't know. Is that, are you sure that's a giant? This was a giant rock leaf. No. Leave me alone. <laughs> now where's your... Alright, you're all dead. Well, now I'm lost. Hmm. 
No. Anyways, I think this might be a good place to end this episode with a roaring bears just roaring at us. It's been a fun episode. It was definitely interesting to learn what happened there, so. Anyways, if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how your day went and all that sort of thing. So, anyways, though, this is Nietzsche Gaming, signing off. See you guys in the next episode. Peace.